All right, everybody. Tragic MTG here to go through my first box of Zendikar Rising set boosters. Pretty cool. Different way to do packs. Good old Watsy. Always trying to drum up more ways to suck money out of our wallets. And here we go. This is for guys like me who... Uh, aren't going to draft, even though drafting is fun. I just never get to do that. Guaranteed foil up to four rares. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, and of course, a box topper. All right, so what is this all about? Let's go through it and find out. And at the end, I will scan up all the rares and see what my value is for the box. See how I did. Okay, so I believe with the uh, these boxes, uh, okay, here we go, an art card. This is the welcome, right? Welcome to this pack of cards. Let's see how this actually plays out. Um, so the Jace uh, art card, unsigned version apparently, Jace Mirror Mage. Uh, so this is their attempt at trying to get us all excited on some collectability. Um, there really won't be anything major to these until they have signatures on playable cards. That's my opinion, of course. Um, we'll see. We'll see how they go. Very nice. I mean, you could collect those, but I don't see there being a huge market for them. Full Art Island. Very nice. And then a little section of cards that are supposed to be kind of related to each other. So we've got a Worm Horror, a Beast, a uh, Smite the Monstrous. Okay, there's the theme. It's just monster was going to be big stuff, but that's a small griffin. Roiling regrowth, sacrifice, landfall. That one wasn't landfall. I don't know. I don't know if this idea really has any weight here for this welcome kind of thing of uh, cards that are supposed to be connected somehow. I'm sure that the, it makes sense to the algorithm, not so much to my little brain. So We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I don't know. How does that card go with it? You'd have to really study that. I don't have time for all that. Here we go. We got a cat. We got an Orin Reef Ooze for a first rare. Mind Carver. Excellent art on that. Like it. And then, strictly better magic minigame. So, other ways to do, to play the game. Interesting. Uh, maybe we'll read that at some other time. So, but there we go. That was our are one of a possible four rares out of that pack. Here we go. Let's, let's, let's go a little faster next time. No signature. Still good art. Magmatic Channeler. Pull our planes. Um, black cards. No, that's not the theme. Biting, vanquishing, feeding, tormenting. Sure. Whatever it is. And uh, so we get a flip card. It's a land creature. I'm a wizard. Here's a rare soul shatter. Luminarch aspirant. Full sneaking guide. And another one of these mini games. So uh, this is different than the last one. Collect the whole set of those, right? All right, here we go. Set boosters. Uh, again, yes, I got no signature on this one. I wonder how many of the signatures you get per box. Survivor, Catcher, Snarecaster, Skulker, Blade Blade. I mean, that's kind of a theme that these are all warriors and rogues and rogues and rogues. Part of the party? I don't know. I'm just not saying. Fortification, Swarm, Cargan Intimidator, Ancient Green Warden. So there's a good... Mythic pull right there. We will scan that up later. And a foil thieving skydiver. So we did get three rares or mythic rares in that set. And a plant token. Alright, next up. At least the packs open real easy. These are not the side opening Japanese packs that I sometimes have trouble with. Some kind of fungus. Among Us, the Swarm Shambler. There we go. Mountain. Some commons that really just don't do anything for me. I've got a scavenge blade. 
Valakut Awakening. Instant land. Sure. Mistbinder. It's oh there this is the card from the list. Wow! So exciting and uncommon from Rivals of Ixalan to be on the list. The list being like, I don't know, 300 cards or whatever it is. The chances of getting the really good pulls out of this seem small. Uh, I'm not impressed with the list, especially for something like this. Um, I, I can't imagine that that card is in such high demand that it needed to be reprinted right now. Uh, Merfolk Tribal is a thing for sure. But uh, that card is probably already readily available. Very cool art on this. Tazim Royal Mage. Cool. There's a foil planes. Wizards and warriors and wizards and warriors. Getting ready for that Dungeons and Dragons set next year. That's going to be fun. Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. Uh, I just opened one of these in a collector's box. And I know that they're a bit, so that's a good pull right there. Deliberate. Cool with the... Uh, with the barely see it but there's some markings on there from the printing process fun times and the formats which uh, comment down below how you feel about the current formats I, I just hear talk I don't get to play ever so <laughs> I really don't have a, any skin in the game when it comes to how bad standard is doing but I've heard which way is this supposed to go I guess Sw it's just a swamp okay <laughs> cool art forest all right, let's get going past this stuff. We're looking for the goods. We want a Legion Angel for sure. And a Domination. What is the list? Tell me all about the list. I think I kind of get the, the gist of the list. Uh, it must be a Plains. Yeah, sure enough, it is a Plains. Looks nice. There's another Plains. No Priest of Oblivion. Expedition Champion. Squirrel Mob. Well, okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. Card from Odyssey that actually probably sees a bit of play and it's not been reprinted to death. So there you go. This is the reason why you would want the list, right? So print more cards like this that need to be reprinted from older sets. Not cards like the Merfolk from Rivals of Ixalan. There we go. So we'll throw that into the rare pile and we'll scan that up later. Look at that guy. What is, what is he all about? Canopy Bayloth, sure. Nice. I like the art. Nothing wrong with it. Is this game really like focusing on that kind of collectability though? So, Skyclave Apparition. There we go. And a foil. So, viewers of my channel will know that I'm kind of into some non sport like trading cards, really just for novelty purpose. But I've dabbled a bit in. You know, some of the current versions of those where the the chase cards are autographs and sketch cards and things like that so it, it this is definitely Watsy's way of getting into that mode of making cards jace mirror mage there we go got the extended art version non-foil skyclave squid so you can definitely expect more come on, like experimentation um, with art cards and things like that um, and really, eventually you'll get artists. Um, ah, they're they're doing you know the uh, oops. They're doing the gold printed, which I haven't seen one yet. Gold printed onto these cards, which collectors are not really hyped about that. I would I would guess again my opinion. Sign of the Swarm, very nice. Um, they're not going to get hyped until you have an on card autograph by an artist especially like more uh, like well-known artists or like popular artists like Seb McKinnon like a Seb McKinnon autograph either on the card or even on one of those plastic strips that they use on sports cards and then they like tape it onto the card then you'll see the collectability of, of that kind of stuff like take off quite a bit we got a pathway there we go these are useful I like them Nahiri's lithoforming Full rare and an illusion. So a lot of a lot of ad cards is like one in every single one of these. Whoops. 
At least some of them are tokens and they're usable. Oh, very cool. So that's nice art. Nahiri. So, okay, this is the showcase version uh, where it shows, I guess, travel poster style, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, th this, I actually get it when you see it like this. When it's on the, f the showcase frame in the regular card and it's like all the, the words and everything blocks it out, you can't really get the full effect of what Nahiri is all, all about right here. That's really cool. I like this card, this art card a lot just from being able to see the full art. Heir of the Ancients, so, I don't know. It'd be neat to have, but I can't really see like trying to track down a whole set of these and just have them. Maybe some people would do that. We got a River Guide Pathway, Flipperino, Extended Art, nice. And a Drake, we'll keep it. Excellent. Must be an island pathway or one of the pathways, right? It's the clear water pathway, sure. Island. I'm like totally ignoring whatever that section is supposed to be. Mall of the Skyclaves. Um, are these my rares? These are my good rares. Needleverse pathway extended. Good. Skeet Swarm. I guess it's seeing some play. Maybe someday. I'll join you guys, play some cards, instead of just cracking packs, if I had time for any of that. Okay, this guy's a vampire, kind of like, um, uh, yeah, Nighthawk scavenger, so he's a vampire Nighthawk pushed version, he is a rare, again, cool art, so, I don't know, maybe I'm coming around to these art cards, I like them, they're neat. But I don't know if I really need to search out a whole collection of them. Coral Helm, Chronicler, Scythe Cat. Ooh, well, there we go. That's a good card from the list. A Dryad Arbor. Original is probably 10, 15 bucks. So this version, uh, depending on rarity, might be half or more of that. So that's a classic. And it wasn't uncommon, but from Future Sight, it's pretty good demand so that makes it rare this guy or lady Akiri sure sky dancer cleric Seagate restoration mythic Seagate reborn very cool and ruin crab this one's gonna see a lot of play I'm sure and an insect we got here and what is going on there thundering rebuke I say thee nay it says squid the intimidator and omnath locus of creation very cool legendary elemental that's apparently the only card that can see play right now according to some people like every deck right when you got it you got it right it's another uh is that a bailoth no it's a morag it's a minotaur cool mountain crag crown pathway green and red we'll put it i don't know it can go there and a foil all right next up Oop, open, get, open. Okay, there we go. So there's a a gold uh, signature for this angel. Linvala, Shield of Seagate. So that's Wayne Reynolds' is a simulation of his signature. He, the artist did not actually put his signature on this card. So to collectors of signatures, it's like, why? You know, it just, it's a printing. Um... I think the next the next step is gonna have to be get them to do those little sticker things and uh, and put their actual signature on there. Tabarax, inscription of insight. 
Glacial Grasp. Oh, and how do you do combat damage for the newbies? Okay, so, okay. Let me stop right here. This is ranting. This is tragic ranting right here. Okay. This set, the set boosters, is aimed at who? It's for not players. It's for collectors that uh, have surpassed the need to go through draft packs, right? So why do we need, like, a very basic outline of how to do power and toughness and combat damage in this set this is unnecessary you know put a put a foil stamped insect token on the back of this construct so there we go rant over ooh that is cool see okay you can see the complete art of this piece so I, I do like that where in the, uh, the actual usable card, a lot of this is lost from the, the UI of the card, if you will. Right? Whoop! Nissa of Shadow Bows. Yeah, excellent art. David Raposa, you did very good there, I have to say. The Seer. Skyclave Relic. Mind Drain. What is the list? Yeah. I think we I think we know <laughs> if you're buying this product you know what the list is you didn't buy this whole box by accident planes Kaza geopede arc bound slith yeah there you go like I, I don't even think the list should have commas and uncommons on it well I don't know there's some expensive commons and uncommons, right? Was that one of them? No, it was not. This guy, he's a hierophant. A full swamp. Phylath. And a cousin do mammoth. So look, yeah, this is the the showcase art of it. What what's over here? What what does this mammoth have to offer over here and here and here and here? All it is is just some geometric shape that gets lost in the rest of the card. I'm uh, not feeling it. I guess it's we'll, just, we'll scan it up later though. All right, next. Man, am I just in a bad mood today? Not really. Just got opinions, just like everybody. All right here we go. Forest was not readily apparent just from that art, but it kind of makes sense. Yeah, Zendikar Forest. So in fact, look, okay, here's the, the same the same art. Um, really, most of it can be seen since this is a full art, but if it was an actual bordered card, you would lose a lot of it. Charix. Shell Shield. Copy. Making copies, I know. I'm sure everyone's done that joke already. Uh, mountain. Sure enough. In fact, oddly enough, that happened again. There it is. So, the colors are more vivid on the art card than they are on the the usable card. Interesting thing to note there. Coveted prize. Bubble snare. Haven't gotten many packs that have more than one rare. Gotta say. Just saying. Vampire dude, Anawan. Pickaxe, that stood out a bit. Nimble Trap Finder, Disenchant. Get the glowing eyes on Nahiri there, another co construct. So, plenty of tokens. Not so many just useless nothing cards there. What's this? Looks cool. Is that up or down? Thwart the Grave. Very nice art, though. No, I'm not going to make a collection. They're just going to sit in a stack somewhere. Squad Commander. Pressure Point. Look, attacking and blocking, really. That's just day one. Oh, I bought this box on accident. I'm so glad that I know how to play this game with this. You guys get it. You, get, you feel me, right? Oh yeah, Jace is having a problem right there. Maddening cacophony for sure. Cool. 
Apple Mountain. Elemental. Hagra Mauling. Territorial Scythe Cat. And plant. Alright. Getting down to the end of this box here. I don't know. I don't, don't feel like I found anything super amazing, really, other than the Omnath, which there he is. Looking good, so. The difference. Somewhat clear. There's really not a lot extra that you're missing in the uh, regular order. But uh, it's a little bigger, so there you go. Crag Plate Baloth. Feed the Swarm. And a Goblin Lore. All right. So this is a card that does need a reprint. Um, Portal Second Age is pretty rare out there in the wild. Uh, it does have another printing, I want to say 10th edition, and maybe one more that's also pretty rare, and I, I think this sees, it, it must see a lot of play in Popper, I'm not sure exactly, but there it is, it's actually a pretty good common right there. It's no uh, scroll rack though, I would rather have that. Uh, oh yeah, that, that does look really nice. Grim Climb Pathway Mountain. And we got a Nissa of Shadow Bows, the regular version. Very cool. Blood Price. Again, with the like the core have really cool shiny eyes in the foil, I gotta say. Spring Jack Shepherd. Um I don't know if this one sees really much play. It's it's an older set, probably has a little bit of value. We'll scan it and we'll check it out later. There's a cat. This guy right here, right? Tabarax. Cool island. Love the islands from Zendikar. They're very, very dynamic. My favorite is the the bowl. Here we go, the scavenger. Yeah, the, the tilting bowl of water that's an island. Spare supplies. Coming down to the last two. Oh, okay, so we got another signed card. So this is a forest. Yep, sure enough, by Sam Burley. All right, there it is. I have it now. Collect the whole set. Turn Timber Symbiosis. And it's a land on the other side, Serpentine Wood. Very cool. Hey, it gives you more options, even though it might be a big casting cost for that effect. Vanquish the weak. But it could take up a land slot, right? So, there you go. Last pack. Got a... Is that a Grove of the Burnwell? Burnwells? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Grove of the Burnwells. Pretty nice. And a foil forest. And what else did we get? We got a Verizal, the split current. Adventure awaits. And your cards in play. That yep, your creatures go there. Your graveyard is here. Luckily there's a cat on there said, okay, let's open this box topper. And then we'll scan it all up and see if I hit the big time. We got a Marsh Flats. Excellent. Nice uh, nice little fetch land there. Only in non-foil. Somehow it already has a couple of nicks down at the bottom. Just the way I like it. All right, let's uh, scan these up. So here we go with the Mythics. Turn Timber Symbiosis. 
11.99. Wow, pretty decent. Uh, let's see, Seagate Restoration. It is 7.96. Ancient Green Warden. Woo, 20 bucks. Very nice. Ashaya. Uh, 12. Jace. Five bucks. Nissa. 875 Omnath by itself. No showcase. Still 23. Seeing a lot of play. And then we got the Marsh Flats Expedition, the non foil version. It is 43.95. Woo! Alrighty. There it is. I think I did okay on my set booster box and uh, had some fun going through it. Got to see all of what it is all about. Thank you for sticking around for this. Everyone who watched, uh, make sure to hit the like button. Comment down below, what do you think about this thing? And uh, let me know if you want to see some more. I will catch you later.